Yeah, so there's the five star there, Hiking Williams, six players ranked in the top 300, 247 sports. And again, it's a class of 16 right now with the, of course, the transfer is a whole other deal, but they count against the roster spots. So, mm-hmm. you know, you're you're still looking at uh, most likely most likely a few more spots um, here in the next uh, before February. Yep. Yeah. You definitely got uh, some more there along with the transfers to, um, you know, one, two, the one, one, we got a note on Edwin Joseph. Also, that was a defensive back uh, commit for Florida state that went down today. There was some ups and downs throughout the last couple of weeks of the recruitment. It's swaying in Florida state side. Is it going Louisville side? I think in the last 24 hours, things started flipping over on Florida States. Um, he makes things official there. He's been a guy that's, been recruiting heavily now and has a close relationship with Conrad Hussey, which is a guy that was supposed to make an announcement here in about an hour or so current Penn state safety commit uh, recently visited Florida state uh, top 10, you know, just depending on which other recruiting outlets you look at top 10 safety across the country, Florida state really needs to add depth in that, safety room they need to add some pieces that they can develop and work on just kind of how they are doing right now with Shaheen Brown um, I personally you know looking at this tape I really like this kind of think he's got smarts to be at the right position at the right times um, six foot 190 uh, supposed to make the commitment tonight it hasn't been shared specifically from Conrad he hasn't made an announcement or anything that he does not intend on signing because this morning he did put out a post along with another another group that he would be having a signing uh, tonight along with some other players keeping an eye on this you know things things can always happen this is this is just kind of how it goes definitely if you're a Florida State fan it just doesn't feel like early signing day is over until we're past midnight at this point you look at Julian Armella last year that was a thing where we were hearing, okay, Florida State's in this, and it goes away, and then, okay, Florida State leaning there, and then out of nowhere, Julian Armella says, I've got an announcement, and I've got an announcement at this time, and then I've got an announcement at this time. Keeps on pushing it back. Florida State fans are kind of used to this. Not saying this is what's going to be happening with Conrad Hussey, but I think Florida State has put themselves in a really good spot, spot here relationships-wise, and Penn State is trying as hard as they can to hold on to Hussey. I I think it's more now Penn State holding on rather than maybe Miami being in the mix here. Uh, you know, Miami's doing a lot of things as much as they can to to uh, salvage some of the stuff that's been going on with them throughout early signing day. But um, you know, Conrad Hussey would be a major get for Florida State, and that would probably make a few FSC fans that are still not so happy about that Keldrick Falk the commitment, which we'll talk about in a minute make them feel a little bit better before they go to bed tonight. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on this with Conrad Hussey. If anything changes, like I said, he hasn't officially said anything on his Instagram, Twitter, um, hasn't contacted or given us any update on what the game plan is. If he does decide to sign tonight. So keeping a close eye on this one, I've got the alerts on and everything on the social media. So we'll, we'll see if anything happens. Yeah, good get for sure. 11th rated safety in the country. So roughly a top 150 player there, according to the uh, 247 ranking. So we'll keep an eye out for that one. 